Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are creating this neutral cut crease look. I hope you enjoy it and let's just jump right into the video. Today we're using the Morphe 35R palette. I'm going to be taking this kind of neutral brown shade as our transition shade. I'm using it with a Sigma E35 brush and blending this in throughout my crease, really smoking it out towards the brow bone and fanning it out towards the outer corners of my eye as well to kind of give it a nice winged out effect. We're going in with this kind of mid-tone kind of camel brown shade and I'm using it on a Sigma E25 brush, focusing this one in throughout the crease again, just a little bit more precisely in throughout the crease, not as kind of blown out as that first shade that we use, but I am taking up a little bit higher than my natural crease. They're going to be taking in this dark brown. I'm using that same brush and I'm focusing this shade right on the outer kind of corners of my eye. I'm not really bringing it in throughout the crease too much, just really stamping it and packing the shade in throughout the outer crease to kind of create that nice depth to begin our kind of winged out faded ombre look to the eyeshadow. Then to deepen out the corners even more, I'm taking this dark brown shade I'm using on an Morphe MB18 brush and I'm really kind of stamping this on the outer corner and kind of beginning to create that V kind of triangular shape to the look. Then we're going to buff out the edges using this mid-tone brown shade. It kind of reminds me of Makeup Geek's Coco Bear but I'm using on a Morphe R39 brush and I'm just going to be buffing that out around the edges of that dark brown shade to make sure it's really blended. I felt like it was starting to look a little bit choppy and patchy and I was really focusing on just kind of getting the pigment down there and then blending it out. We're going to go back in with that dark brown shade and again using that same brush to really pack on the color, deepen it up and to make sure it's really dark on that outer corner. Then I'm going to go back in with that initial transition shade and I'm going to be using it on a M576 brush, just buffing over the edges to make sure everything's really seamless and blended. Next up we're moving on to carving out the crease. I'm taking some foundation on my Morphe E19 brush and I'm just going to cut my crease. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I love this foundation. If you don't have a super opaque concealer on you or eye base, using a really full coverage foundation does the trick just as well. It's really great because it's super opaque and it dries really quick so it's not creasing or smudging anywhere. So yeah, just cutting out the crease using that and then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of buff out the edges of the concealer to make sure there's not like a line between like concealer and eyeshadow. Just buffing out the edges with my finger. So I've just completed the other eye and now we're going to move on to blending out the edges even more. Going back in with that mid-tone brown shade but this time I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe E17 brush and I'm just kind of buffing out the edges and smoking it along the lid and also joining it up to those darker browns on the outer corners of our eyes. Then I'm going back in with that dark brown shade that we used at the beginning just to make sure the eyeshadow is super opaque towards the outer corners of our eyes. Moving on to our lid shade, I'm taking Makeup Geek Starry Eyed. I'm using it on my Zoeva 234 brush and packing that all over my lid. It is spritzed, but I just feel like I wasn't getting the pigmentation, so I used, switched it up to my finger. And then to make sure we got it right up towards that nice cut, I used it on a Morphe R42 brush. We were taking Grandstand, I'm using it on my finger, and I'm just going to be placing it in between where Starry Eyed meets the kind of darker outer corners of the eyes to create a nice gradient. For our glitter today, I'm using my Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Kit and Karma. I'm using it on a Zoeva 317 brush and I'm just going to be picking up the tiniest little bit of the glitter eyeshadow and then kind of tracing along that kind of cut crease line. Then we're just going to deepen up the outer corners a little bit more with a bit of black eyeshadow. I'm taking it on Morphe PK45 brush, just kind of stamping it along the kind of outer corners of my eye where I would create a wing and deepening up the outer V a little bit. Then I'm just applying a little bit of winged eyeliner and some mascara and popping on some lashes. These are the Demi G lashes from Coco Lashes. Moving on to the face, I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer today, just pressing that on throughout my skin to make sure my oils are like at bay. And then for foundation, I'm taking my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation in the shade Ivory, just patting that all over my face using my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. Then we're moving on to concealer. I'm taking my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and I'm just going to place that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin and also a little bit on my forehead and then just moving on to blending that out with that Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. And then we're going to move on to setting the face. I'm taking my Fenty Beauty in Busy Matte Blotting Powder. I love this powder. It's really great if you have oily skin. I am obsessed with it. I've been using it every single day. I've already hit pan on it, which I'm so sad about. I'm going to have to go buy some more like ASAP. But anyway, setting my face using that powder and then we're going to be going 
on to kind of the lower lash line I'm taking the initial blending transition shade that we use on a Morphe this is a PK 36 brush just blending that really kind of sloppily and really blown out underneath the eyes and then taking a mixture of those darker browns that we use I'm just taking it on a kind of smaller brush this is the Morphe E36 brush but focusing on this more on like the outer like three quarters of the eye not bringing it right throughout the inner corner then we're going to move on to the face I'm going to contour using the lighter shade from the Kat Von D shade and lights palette I'm taking that on a Morphe R14 brush then I'm going to bronze up the face a little bit using that middle shade I'm taking that on a Morphe R1 brush just bronzing up my face to create a nice bronzy glow then I'm applying a little bit of MAC Fix Plus being careful to avoid my eyes and then we're going to move on to highlighting I'm using butterscotch and starburst today from the Anastasia Beverly Hills sugar glow palette I'm just going to place this on my cupid's bow down my bridge of my nose my inner corners as well as my brow bone and of course my cheekbones as well I'm like in love with the mixture of these two shades I think it worked so well with the look today I'm absolutely obsessed and I kind of like been forgetting about this palette but the highlights in here are amazing absolutely love them for blush today I'm taking the shade Parte from Tarte and I'm taking it on a Morphe G5 brush and I'm just placing that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it out towards my kind of hairline and cheekbones I'm also running a tiny tiny little bit of that black eyeshadow that we used before just along the lower lash line the kind of outer outer corners of it to really smoke it out then I'm going to apply a little bit of bottom lash mascara and guys I forgot to apply my eyeliner so maybe do the eyeliner first then the mascara but anyway I went in with this nude pencil from Rimmel and just applied that along my lower waterline to really open up the eyes we're taking the shade stripped from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the liquid lipstick and I'm just going to apply that to my lips and then to kind of deepen it up and kind of make them not as like nude and kind of warm toned I'm taking the shade Velvet Teddy from MAC and I'm just applying that over the top and then I'm going to be taking a gloss as always Per Glossy Cat from Rimmel is like my go-to I love this lip gloss it's so beautiful and guys that is the finished look I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave me a big like thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.